This is the Cholo News Report for Sunday 13, January, 2019. A large explosion caused by a suspected gas leak destroys a bakery in the 9th arrondissement of Paris, France. Two firefighters and a Spanish woman are killed, and 40 others are injured. The Spanish woman was apparently a tourist who was staying in a hotel near the bakery, where the explosion took place. Several buildings in the surrounding area were damaged and pictures of the scene showed a large amount of debris strewn in the street, about a mile north of the Notre Dame Cathedral. Pictures showed at least one casualty on a stretcher being taken away by emergency services from the scene, where about 200 firefighters were in attendance. Gabon's president Ali Bongo owned in the names Julian Gobikayo as the country's new prime minister after a failed coup that happened five days ago. On its 22nd day, the federal government shutdown becomes the longest in American history overtaking the record, previously set in 1995-1996. Mr. Trump was consulting with White House attorneys and allies about using presidential emergency powers to take unilateral action to construct the war over the objections of Congress. A congressional official said the Trump administration is eyeing billions of dollars of relief funds earmarked for hurricane-pounded Puerto Rico, Texas, California, Florida and other states to be diverted to a border wall as part of the emergency declaration. The White House has directed the Army Corps of Engineers to comb through its budget, including $13.9 billion in emergency funds that Congress set aside last year for disaster relief. Joining several other Democrats in the race, former Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, Julian Castro, of Texas, announces his intention for running in the 2020 United States presidential election. Castro's personal story, along with that of his twin brother, Joe Quinn, has been central to his rise on the national stage and made up the bulk of his 2012 convention speech. Although he was eventually passed over for Senator Tim Kaine of Virginia, Castro said Clinton's loss and Trump's victory was the moment he began considering a run. Evidence of this strategy peppered the plaza on San Antonio's west side where Castro announced on Saturday a mariachi band welcomed guests as taco trucks fed people outside. The Congolese Election Commission announces that parties supporting outgoing President Joseph Kabila obtained the majority in the National Assembly. The huge Central African country, which straddles an area the size of Western Europe, has been in the grip of a toilet political crisis, triggered by Kabila's refusal to step down when his Twatam constitutional limit expired at the end of 2016. The polls runner-up Martin Fayalu, an opposition candidate tipped by pollsters as the likely winner of the vote, told supporters on Friday he would demand a recount.